Apple's impossible challenge to Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. The iPhone 15 Pro series was announced two days ago and well, we have our first look at the actual performance numbers of the Apple A17 Pro chip. The first ever smartphone chip that is capable of playing console games like Resident Evil 4 or Resident Evil Village. And well, here are the scores of the iPhone 15 Pro in comparison to the early Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 scores that we have on the Galaxy S24 Plus. So you can see Apple is definitely breaking records by going 7000 plus on multi-core and near 3000 with the single core performance. But overall, you can see that the gap is certainly closing. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 is not that far behind with final scores definitely getting improved compared to these numbers. And well, the biggest challenge of Samsung is actually to Samsung themselves because they are bringing their Exynos 20 2400 chip back on the scene, something we all never expected. The Exynos 2400 has to exist in a world we have the Apple A17 Pro capable of playing console games and the impressive Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chip. I have to say Samsung has to bring some serious improvements in order to at least be in the same realm of conversation as these chips. This is Apple's open challenge to Samsung, so let's see what they do with the Exynos next year. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Now Apple has brought the biggest evolution to smartphone gaming. People might not care about these benchmark numbers that much but what they will care about is being able to play proper console games on their phones. As gaming handheld market is picking up the steam, Apple has officially responded with something we never ever expected. Games like Resident Evil 4, Resident Evil Village, Assassin's Creed Mirage and Death Stranding plus more titles to come in the future. In my opinion that has to be one of the best thing to happen to smartphone gaming. And well Samsung has so far done nothing, I mean they talked so much about ray tracing, they're also reportedly collaborating with game studios but so far nothing has been announced. This even affects Qualcomm and Google in general so they have to do something for Android. Just like A17 Pro, Snapdragon Agent 3 will also be capable of doing console gaming. Again, it all comes down to these big brands collaborating with the actual game studios like Apple has done. These games will be custom optimized on iPhone so they're not just a console port so we're definitely going to see a reliable performance. Again, I can't wait to try this out on the iPhone 15. 15 Pro and the 15 Pro Max. So there we go, the ball is in the court of Samsung. They're bringing back Exynos 2400 in a world where A17 Pro and the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 exist. Plus, they now have to collaborate with other brands to bring console gaming to Android world as well so they don't feel left behind. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. With that being said, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.